right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Melstone at Rule Well. Salutations to the men of the Hope Land since they elect. This is Makazar from Trend.com. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. Alright, and what I would do, I would do like a series of, you know, beginner videos, like for, you know, Akim just coming in, you know, to, for the nurturing to, you know, to build a, their foundation. All right, instead of aiming directly for meat, you know, a good strong foundation leads to a strong house. All right, it's, it's key for a strong house. All right, so I will get straight into the, this video. Well, you know, it's based off of baptism. All right, because one of the key steps of coming into this truth is being baptized. You have to be baptized to be in this truth. But how do you be baptized? All right, so let's get into that. This is John, St. John chapter 3, verse 28. It says, Ye yourselves be a witness that I said, I am not the anointed, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom would stand it and hear it him, rejoice it greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. For, for, says this my joy thereof is fulfilled so what john was saying hey basically he's a friend of the bridegroom so he just you know as as we doing we being the forerunners of yahweh shai we we signaling the the, the heralding the coming of yahweh shai all right it says this my joy thereof is fulfilled verse 30 it says he must increase but i must decrease now John was doing baptizing by water. Now what he meant by he must increase and I must decrease. He's saying that hey, the baptism that Yahweh Shai coming to do, that gonna be the new baptism. But I might I will have to decrease. Basically, you're not gonna be doing my baptism again. All right, because what John was doing was just you know the the for the for running or preparing the people for Yahweh Shai. Like a wedding rehearsal. That's basically what John baptism was. Our wedding rehearsal was the carnal side of the of the of the spiritual thing to come, the better thing to come. All right. And as you go further in the scriptures, you will see that. All right. It says Matthew, Matthew chapter three verse eleven. It says, "I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance." But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. As he said, he must increase and I might decrease. Right? Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. So he's not, he not worthy to walk in Yahweh Shai's shoes. He's not worthy to do the baptism that Yahweh Shai is doing. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So John said, hey, I indeed baptized with water. I was just preparing the way for Yahweh Shai. But basically, Yahweh Shai from now on, then I'm baptized with the Holy Spirit and with the fire. Now Christians be saying, you know, take me to the water, dip your head in water. But guess what? What about dipping your, your whole body in fire? How come they don't do that? Because the scripture says that. The scripture says to be baptized with fire. All right? Being baptized is by you believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? That is how you be baptized, by believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that is how you you how 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 one you know becomes baptized or gets baptized. All right, because the word baptized basically goes back to to meaning to be to be cleansed. Now it says that you baptize you with the with the spirit and with the fire. This is John six and sixty three. It says, it is the spirit that quicken it, means to bring it to life. The flesh profited nothing. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the dipping of the water and the, and the dipping of the flesh in the water, that don't profit nothing. All right, it's just preparing the person for Yahweh Shai. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. All right? They are spirit and they are life. So the words are spirit. The words are life. The words are the ones that gonna bring you to everlasting life all right and the scripture says faith coming by hearing and hearing by the words of the Mosai. 
So for you to believe in the Lord is because of the words of the Most High. Hence, by believing, you get baptized. All right? By believing, you get baptized. All right? I'm just read this real quick. It says Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. It says, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, men depart from evil. So by you receiving the words of the Most High, all right, and fearing Him, guess what? You're going to purge yourself of all sin because you're going to repent. You're going to turn back from doing the wickedness that you was doing. And that is what actually cleanses you. All right? That's what actually cleanses the man. All right? The words of the Most High. This is Psalms. 119 verse 9 it says wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word so you take heed according to the most high you fear the most high and you depart from iniquity and that what actually cleanse the man all right by the word the word is what cleanses you believing in the word is like being brainwashed all right the word is what actually cleanses the man now he also said that he can baptize you with fire. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14. It says, Wherefore thus saith Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, the power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Alright? Did the scripture say the words that the Moses says are two-edged sword? All right, the word cuts. All right. Now, the reason why it cuts is because, guess what? It's tough love. That is what purifying. That is how the Lord purifies us by tough love. All right. The word actually convicts us and makes us ashamed of the wickedness that we was doing, and 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 makes us do right. And that is how you become baptized. Because guess what? I could take a Hindi, a Hindu person, all right, and dip them under water. Or better yet, a Christian will take a Hindu person worshipping Shiva Ganesh and dip them underwater in the name of Jesus Christ. And guess what? They will walk away still worshipping Shiva Ganesh. That don't mean they baptize. You just dip their head underwater. But for them to be baptized, they have to believe that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the God of Israel. And baptism is only for Israel. Alright? Baptism is only for Israel. Alright? This is Isaiah chapter 4 verse 4. It says, When Yahabah Shemel Shai shall wash away the filth of the daughters of Zion, all right, he's going to wash away the filth of the daughters of Zion because, as I said, baptism is only for Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from in the midst thereof, by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning by this word you judge people according to the word alright and the words is fire so you're going to judge you by the spirit of uh, cleanse you by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning that's how the Lord going to wash away your filth as the scripture said John 6 and 63 alright Matthew 3 11 he's going to cleanse you with his word all right the word is what actually baptizes you not dipping your head under water that does not do anything dipping your head under water does not do anything to you in a spiritual sense all right it doesn't christians do that all the time and yet they still don't believe in the bible they believe what the pastor said all right they believe in what the pastor says so it doesn't do anything all right This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Alright? The washing of the water by the word. Didn't Yahweh Shai tell the woman by the well that if she drink of this water, she will never thirst? Yahweh Shai wasn't talking about um, carnal water. He was talking about the words. 
out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. All right? This is John chapter 15 verse, verse 3. I said that verse 2. It says, Every branch in me that I bear it, that bear it not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear it fruit, he purge it, that it might bring forth fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You are clean through the words. The word is what actually cleans. Alright? The word is what does the baptizing. Not dipping your head under water. Alright? That doesn't do anything. Alright? That doesn't do one thing. Alright? Um, see if I can find this piece up here real quick. Um, it just came to mind. Um, basically was comparing the, the most sized words to water all right so I can't I can't find it right now I don't have it highlighted on my phone and all right um so let's go back on course this is um first Peter chapter 3 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 21 it says the like figure where unto even baptism that also save us so yeah baptism is necessary all right not the putting away of the filth of the flesh so it's not by dipping your head under water but the answer of a good conscience towards Yahweh by the resurrection of Yahweh Shem Mashiach so you have to believe it goes back to believe answer of a good conscience is you believing in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai all right so I want to Look at baptism from another angle to prove that baptism is not by dipping your head under water. All right. Um. All right. I'll start at verse ten, at uh, chapter ten. It says, for the law having a shadow, this is Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1, it says, for the law having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never in those things sacrifice which they offer year by year continually make the commas the unto perfect. So guess what? What law Paul was talking about here? He was talking about the law of sacrifice. Alright? He was talking about the law of sacrifice. It was just a shadow of things to come. Just like the baptism with John. It was just a shadow of things to come. It don't make you perfect. Alright? So I'm jumping over to chapter 9. It's Hebrews chapter 9 verse 7. Um, now, nah, read lower down. Um, I said that verse 11, Hebrews 9, 11. It says, But Mashiach, which, which come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle and made, um, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. It says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered, into, entered once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and of ashes of heifers sprinkling the unclean sanctified with purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of Mashiach who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God it says and for this cause he is the mediator of the new testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that the transgressions that were under the first testament they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. So basically, the sacrificing, the sacrificing of the, the, the lamb and the goat and the oxen back then, it was just pre a preparation, you know, because the scripture said the law was our schoolmaster to bring us on to Yahweh Shai. It was just a, um, a guideline to lead us to Yahweh Shai. All right, this verse 22, it says, And almost all things are by the law purged, with blood all right and without the shedding of blood is no remission it says 
it is therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these it says for mashiach is not entered into the holy place made with hands which are figures of the true but into heaven itself now to appear in the presence of Yahweh for us all right it says nor yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with um with blood of others for then must he often had suffered since the foundation of the world but once in the end of the world had he appeared to put away the sin by the sacrificing of himself all right so now guess what we're saying that Yahweh Shai, when he offered himself at the end of the world, basically that was to, to, to wipe away all, or basically to, to bring us back to Yahweh Shai and for forgiveness of sins. Now, guess what? The blood of rams, they, they never took away sins. All right? Because the scripture said it always had a, a, um, the conscience of sin, but it was just preparing you for Yahweh Shai. Hebrews 10 and 1, it says, For the law having a shadow of good things. So now we understand what we mean by the law having a shadow of good things. The law of sacrifice. Basically, like, and the, also the law of baptism. And not the, the very image. So the baptism that what John was doing was not the very image of the things. Can never with those sacrifice which they offered year by year continually make the comers there unto perfect. For then would they have not ceased to be offered. So guess what? The 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 um it says for then would they not have ceased to be offered? All right. So because the sacrifices were sacrificed continually, because they couldn't take away sin. So Paul's saying if they could have made it perfect, then they would have ceased. But it ceased when Yahweh Shai came. So it was just a prepar preparation for Yahweh Shai, just like the baptism. So when Yahweh Shai came and baptized with the Spirit and with the Word. Then that baptism that John did was made null and void. All right? Because that the worshippers once purged should have no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible, it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. It's not possible. All right? It's not possible. But it was just a preparation. Of the things to come of the better things to come it says wherefore when he cometh into the world he said sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not but a body thou has prepared me in burnt offerings and sacrifices of sin thou has no pleasure then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will O god so as he said i came in the volume of the book so when the the sacrifices were ordained in the old testament and the baptism of John was ordained, it was speaking of Yahweh Shai which was to come. Right? It was a shadow of things to come. Wasn't the Passover symbolic of Yahweh Shai? Alright? Um, it says, verse 8, it says, uh, above when he said sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offerings for sin, thou wouldest not, neither has pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will. I come to do thy will. I come to fulfill the things that were written. Alright? He take it away the first, that he may establish the second. So he take it away the first sacrifice, so that he may offer himself as a sacrifice. He take it away the first baptism, that he may do the true baptizing. Not the putting away the filth of the flesh, but to answer a pure mind towards Yahweh Shem Mashiach. Verse 10, it says, by which will we are sanctified. By which will we are sanctified. We are cleansed through the offering of the body of Yahushem Mashiach once for all. And guess what? It don't mean for all men. It's talking about for all Israel. The reason why you Christians getting caught up with uh, words like, um, phrases like for all and all men. is because of those correctors back in the council of Nicaea. When they brought in, you know, those pagans into the Roman, um, into the Roman doctrine, they had to correct the Bible, all right, to suit all people, all right. The words is only for Israel, only. 
The word Catholic means universe. The Old Testament, the Lord's commandments and statutes were only for Israel. How the hell could the Bible be for all people? All right, you need to get your mind right. The baptism is spiritual, just like the sacrificing. You get baptized by believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. If you don't believe in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you could dip your head under water till you turn pale like Esau. You are not cleansed. All right? This is Matthew chapter 20, verse 23. It says, He said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand or on my left, it is not given, it is, it, it is not, is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared by my father. So the baptism he was talking about was his death. So when I look up the word, baptize, all right? It goes back, all right? It goes back to, all right, it goes back to what? To baptismo. It says to dip repeatedly, to immerse, to um, to submerge, to cleanse by dipping. Now you cleanse them by washing by the washing of the word. Now what I want to go here to is the note. It says note on baptism in AC baptism in water, such as John, is distinguished from the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Those who receive the latter, however, may also be baptized in water. And there is no example of people who had previously received John baptism receiving Christian baptism as a preliminary to receiving the Spirit. John was a baptism of repentance as was also Christian baptism. But as John pointed forward to Yahweh Shai, it became obsolete when he came. Christian baptism followed faith in the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It was associated with his name. So that is the point. Even Esau shows you when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, John baptism came obsolete. As he said, he has, shall increase and I shall decrease. So John baptism became obsolete so that Yahweh Shai could bring forth the true baptism. By what? By believing in his name. That is why he said, I am the key. So the baptism is believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the doctrine, you are not cleansed. You are not baptized. And the most are going to destroy you. Alright? So with that, I hope it was edifying. Alright? I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honest to the apostles of great mercy, so not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, saints say elect. This is Makazar saying, Shalom.